Hello everybody, here we are today talking about the unfortunate news, if you are a San Jose Sharks fan, of what happened last night against the Vancouver Canucks. So, before we start, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get into it. So, last night was brutal. If you were a Sharks fan, they suffered their worst home loss in franchise history after they were beat 10-1 to by the Vancouver Canucks. This one was a surprise to wake up to. Obviously, the Canucks being my favorite team, that was great. But me living in the Eastern Time Zone, anytime they play on the West Coast, unless it's the weekends, probably not getting to watch it because I go to work at 4 in the morning or get up at 4 in the morning. This game, I wasn't going to be able to watch anyway because I was feeling really, really bad. So I fell asleep early, woke up, and saw the final score. I knew it was going to be a big night for the Canucks just because of the fact that they won this game by so much. So... Wrapping this up in a ball and just kind of talking about it, what happened? Well, the fact is San Jose continues to slide. In fact, they are now winless through their first 10 games and are one loss away from tying the record for worst start of a season. Uh, there were three or four teams that were on the list. The Coyotes were part of that list twice. And then there were a couple other teams. I cannot remember who was part of it. But yeah, the Sharks are one loss away from making history. And boy, would it be a good time to pick up a win after they just got beat like that. I am aware of the fact that that was really, really difficult, I'm sure, for a lot of Sharks fans. But it just keeps getting worse when you realize how bad it is. Because San Jose has not been this bad in a long time. I just did a video on them a little while ago dealing with the fact that they were so bad. And again, they have not been this bad since the early 90s, probably. Their first two seasons combined, they combined for 28 wins. Now they're at a spot where... Will they get 20 wins on the year this year? Probably. Will they be as bad as those first two years? Probably not. In fact, the matter remains, though, they are not scoring goals, like, at all. I think they have 11 goals in their first 10 games now, so barely over a goal per game. I saw something the other day. It was actually last night. It had to be last night where Jack, Luke, and Quinn Hughes have combined for more points than the entire Sharks roster, and things continue to look rough. This game is one of those deals where they just got buried early and the Canucks continued to pour it on. They scored four goals in the first, four in the second, and then two in the third. Didn't get a crazy amount of shots on goal, I don't think. I think they ended up getting like 35 shots, but this was a big night for guys like Quinn Hughes, Brock Besser, Elias Pettersson. Hughes had five points in this game as the Canucks pick up a big win, but there are more questions surrounding the Sharks as there should be. For what is such a big loss? This is probably the biggest loss I can remember since the Montreal Canadiens game against Columbus, where the Jackets were able to pour it on and win, I think, also like 10 to 1, 10 to 2, something like that. San Jose in a situation now where I think David Quinn's days are numbered, whether that be, you know, before the season ends or after the season. With how things are going right now, I would say that this team is not going to be having him as the coach going into year three because he does have another year on his contract after this year, but they just have not been able to put together anything at the moment. And I know a lot of people talk about, well, their schedule has been hard. Yes, it has. They have played Vegas. They played Colorado. They played Carolina. They have played um, just a whole bunch of teams that are good. But at the same time, you got to come away with more than one goal per game. They've played... You know, the Capitals and the Canucks, which I would say the easier wins of the season, weren't able to get anything going there for either of those games. And they've been shut out, I believe, at least once, if not more times this season. They are at a spot where they have about as many goals as Alex to bring it as at this point in the year. I think Alex has 9 or 10. The Sharks have 11. I don't really know how much worse things could get because, again, things probably are on the up and up here, you would imagine, at some point. But at the same time, too... Are they going to set records in a bad way? Will they be as bad as the inaugural Washington Capitals team way back in the day? Probably not. Again, we looked at this 2021 Arizona team, I believe, that had that really terrible start and said, oh, this could possibly be one of the worst teams of the year. Not even just the year, in all-time history. They were able to get things going a little bit for patches. And we've seen before teams like the Coyotes, when they are having bad years, will be able to put together a decent 20-game stretch. There was a couple of years ago, might have been last year, the year before last, where the Coyotes had a incredible march where they were able to put together a ton of wins and they were able to beat a lot of good teams. Hopefully San Jose is in that situation, but at the same time, I am very aware of the fact that they will probably be shipping guys yet as we get closer to the deadline. So... The Sharks are in a position where nobody really wants to be, but at the same time, like I said in my most recent video about the Sharks, 
they're in a great spot to pick up some top end picks. I might in the next few days talk about some guys that would be somebody they could be interested in drafting. I had somebody that commented on my most recent video about the Sharks and said who should they be interested in. We might dive deeper into that in the next few days because at this point there is not going to be another team that could convince me they're going to be worse than the Sharks by the end of the year. Um, I know a lot of people, like I said in my most recent video, talking about maybe Chicago being one of those teams. They won't. Montreal, I think, has got off to a better start than expected. Philadelphia has got off to a better start than expected. And while some of these teams that we've talked about as probably being bottom feeders may sink as the year goes along, San Jose has really dug themselves into a hole right now where it's hard to imagine them, you know, being able to rise past it. So we will see. Obviously, the Sharks are looking to avoid, you know, setting a record. They play the Penguins in their next game. And then after that, I believe they play the Oilers and they play the Ducks in another team, but I don't know who it is. With how some of those teams have been playing, maybe you were able to get a jump on them and maybe you were to pick up a win. Because this isn't football where you'll see a team, you know, go 0-16. Oh, and 17's never happened before. This is hockey. You're going to be able to see teams go out and get wins, but at the moment, things just look really bad because they've been playing terribly. So who is going to be that first win for the Sharks, and how many wins do you think that they'll get by the end of the season? Will they be a bottom four team? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. You go hockey already. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.